Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on this morning before I leave for work. I'm actually in my office right now and I just finished up doing part of my morning routine. Um, before I leave to go to work, I actually have um, two clients today. I'm going to go help organize their life. And I want to help you organize your life. And this year, um, you're going to hear me talk a lot about Purpose Over Possessions, which is the name of my new book coming out in 2019. I'm super, super excited. But the basis of the book is going to be about basically choosing to live your God-given purpose over your possessions. And I'll get into that more and more as we go throughout the year. But part of what I do to make sure that I'm focused on my purpose more than my possessions is that I have, um, I make sure that I write down declarations about my life, what goals I want to achieve, and I write them down as if it's already happened. Um, this is something I implemented really seriously in 2018, and it's amazing what I've seen happen. Um, things that I've written down have started to come to fruition already, or have already come to fruition, depending on what it is. And it's just so good for me to stay focused on my goals and my purpose. Um, so what, I just wanted to kind of share what I do in the morning. I know a lot of people teach um, about vision boards, and for me personally, I don't like a lot of clutter in my workspace, so I don't um, put a vision board up on the wall, and um, that's just my personal choice. It's totally an awesome tool for people that like doing it that way. I actually do a vision journal, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my phone down right now and share this with you so you can see what it looks like. So this is my vision journal. Um, obviously, I had to find something that was cute because it's all about being um, just something that you want to pick up. If you don't like the looks of it, you're not going to want to pick it up. And then I use these little tabs right here to kind of divide up because um, it's a pretty good sized journal. If you could see, I'll take these papers out um, right here. So I'm going to use this for probably at least a year and it's going to be... Um, basically what I use it for a lot so number one um, I write my declarations and my goals and my affirmations um, for my life in the beginning and I speak this out loud I try to do it every single day and some days I'll be honest I skip because I'm just so busy but I try to do it every single day and the the way I write it is as if it already happened. Um, so, you know, for example, instead of writing I want to be on the New York Times bestseller list, I write that I am on the best New York Times bestseller list. Um, I also have lots of visuals. So, for example, we want to buy a house on the water in Florida. I put a picture of that and then I write what exactly that house looks like in my mind. I'm painting a picture of what I want to see come to life. Um, and to me, that's vision. Vision is painting a picture for what you wanna see happen. And then I go into my daily declarations, and that's just every day I write down five things that I want in my life. Goals, dreams, prayers, whatever I want to happen, I write it down. Um, I have a whole section dedicated to my upcoming conference. And you know, the conference, the Created Order Conference is launching this year, and it's a really big deal to me. So I make sure that I spend time envisioning what that is going to look like, and you know, how many people are going to be there, what we're going to be speaking with, how it's going to change lives. I write prayer requests on here, um, and I just speak over it. I just declare that this is the way the conference is going to go, um, even though I have no idea because it's the first one. But I know um, that if I keep on declaring it that it will come to fruition and then I also the other tab in here is my gratitude section and I just started a new page today so um, I just wrote it down but I write five things that I'm grateful for each day because I really believe that being grateful just actually fuels um, fuels basically God for helping me make sure that these um, goals and dreams of mine are going to happen because I'm showing that I'm already grateful for the things that he's given to me in um, 
the past and it, and every single day. And I want to make sure that he knows that I'm a good steward so that when I do receive a blessing, I'm grateful for it. Um, so that is my vision journal. And what I do is I mix it in with words and affirmations, but then also I do cut out um, magazine pictures and things and I paste them in there um, so that I kind of have a mix and what I do is part of my morning routine is pull this book out every single day and just sit here in my office um, after my devotional time for maybe five minutes it's really quick and I feel like when I do that I'm really setting the intention for the day and um, you know every day doing that it keeps me not only intentional, but it really keeps me focused. I think a lot of times we actually declare our dreams and our goals, and then we kind of forget about them, which is so weird to say, because like, how do you forget about your own dreams? But it can happen because we're so busy and our life gets so cluttered with just all the to-dos and the tasks and the things that we have to remember up here to you know make sure that we get done or taking care of everybody else. And so this is just something simple, five minutes in the morning, you can do it, it's so easy. And um, there's so many other ways. If it doesn't work for you to do a journal, you could do this on your phone, you could do this, um, like I said before, a board, you could do this on your computer, you could you know take um, a big piece of poster board and do it it or a bulletin board it doesn't really matter the point is that you make it part of your routine every single day so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon don't forget to check me out on jenniferfordberry.com um, also the podcast is called the 29 minute mom and look for um, a lot of good stuff on that website this time of year for the holidays too so um, I'm also on Facebook so check me out Love to meet you, say hi, and have a great productive day.